Hello, it is once again I from the future, technically the past, but a less past past, to tell you about what you're going to see in this vlog. Um, you know, it's a weekly reading vlog, we're chilling, we're laughing, we're living, we're loving. But specifically I need to uh, shout out the sponsor of today's video before we jump into our live, laugh, love status, and that is Anna Luisa. So if you do not know about Anna Luisa, you must be new here because I absolutely adore them as a brand, as a jewelry company. I just think that they have fantastic jewelry at such an affordable price and it is so sustainable. They use all, Ginger's excited about it too, they use all recycled metals while doing their jewelry making which you know adds to that sustainability which is very important i personally really 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 love their earrings i think that they are so cute they have so many different styles they have some that are like very like boom pop that is the statement piece but then also they have some like really subtle cute little dainty neutral ones which i honestly have been collecting and I've now moved on to collecting bracelets, and I have a couple of those. I got one bracelet this time, and then two pairs of earrings, which I absolutely love them both. I wanted the heart ones, because, like, I mean, could, come on, could it be per more perfect for Valentine's Day? The answer is no. Like I said, their prices are super affordable, and you get such a luxury item at that affordable price that I definitely recommend you check them out. I will leave all of my information, codes, links, all the good stuff in the description down below so that you can get your couple pieces from them. And if you do end up getting some, definitely let me know, as always, down below what you ended up picking up because I love to chat about jewelry, especially when it comes to Anna Luisa, because honestly, that's the only jewelry that I really wear at this point. But thank you once again to them for sponsoring today's video, and now let's get into the actual vlog portion. Oh lord, oh lord, okay. Hey, all right, so uh, we got panty boy over, we got boy who is panting over here, don't mind that, and uh, we have me looking like a mess. Mind that. I am starting this vlog on a fresh, fun, live, laugh, loving Tuesday afternoon, and it is 4.31, I just got home from work, and I want to update on what is happening to my body. <laughs> we don't want to talk about that, actually. I want to update on what I'm reading and then my plans for the night, which is, spoiler alert, reading. Because I realized I really can't pack up a whole lot more of this uh, without losing the background. And we're going to have so much more to move before I have to move my books. So might as well hold off, you know? Love procrastination nation. Anyways, so Jake, <laughs> stop. Um, I do need to get a move on with House of Earth and Blood, Crescent City. I was gonna make this like a romance reading week, but then I realized I didn't want to do that, so I'm not going to. We're just gonna have a normal week with me. How about it? And I need to start that week off with rereading and finishing, hopefully, House of Earth and Blood, and then. Uh, Although it's my third read, so honestly it's not that deep, but I do want to remember some of the stuff that happened at the end because I feel like everything was just like blah, 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 and we had no idea. So there you go. There's that goal. Then I, on Audible, started listening to Cameron Battle and the Hidden Kingdoms, which just came out today. I saw this on Instagram this morning and I absolutely loved this cover. I thought it was so cute. And what I know so far is that our main character, he was with some friends and they found this book that essentially transported them to this hidden kingdom. And it turns out that he is like a descendant, kind of the chosen one, which I freaking love the chosen one trope. I think it's such a good trope and I think it's done well. I don't think you can do it poorly, but I think it's done well in here. I really like the main character. Like he just is... He's witty and he's like a little bit snarky and kind of clever uh, in the way that I like my middle grade main characters because I just think that they are more fun like that. But it's also that he's like 
I don't want to do this. Like, I don't want to be the hero. What about that? And, you know, I don't really see a lot of main characters that acknowledge that because, um, hello, I wouldn't either. That sounds like a lot of work. But then he goes through this thing seeing all how the line was like passed down to him, his ancestors, how they were involved, how this all started, why it all started. And it was like a really nice moment of, I guess, realization and clarity for him that he was like, all right, I can do this. And it was just, I don't know. I don't know if it was sweet is the right word, but it was just, not, I just liked it. I just liked it. And the audiobook is pretty good. So that is the audiobook I'm listening to, but you know that it's not the only audiobook I'm listening to because the one thing we can't do in this house is focus. So I also still have A Treacherous Curse Going by Miss Deanna Rayborn, which is the Veronica Speedwell series. And this is a series that is now continuing on, obviously past the first book, that's how a series works. My brain is not working. But our main character, Veronica, she was left to fend for herself. Someone tried it on her life and she got rescued, brought to the man who she's like working with on all these mysteries called Stoker, who I absolutely love and adore. And they are basically working together to solve all of these different like mysteries and crimes of the world and I'm just on the third book. This one has some Egyptian lore within it and it kind of reminds me of The Mummy a little bit which honestly I just love The Mummy so much that I'll make it fit and make things remind me of it at this point. So that is that audiobook. Then, do I have anything else actually? I think that might have been the only other one. So it's those two. I thought there was one other one. Oh, yes, there is because I have it on my NetGalley audiobook shelf and that is The Golden Couple by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen. And this is a thriller. This one is about a therapist. It's her point of view for one of the dual point of views. And it's about her, how she helps her clients in like 10 sessions. They fix the problems of the world. And you know, how fantastic would that be? That'd be great. And then the other point of view is the client that she is helping who is in a marriage that has problems, but we're realizing like <laughs> there's more involved here and it's creepy, spooky, strange. But in the therapist point of view, there seems to be like almost this cover up storyline and I'm, it's really random, but I'm kind of into it. So it's okay. I said it last week. These are just not the best thrillers that I've ever read in my life. They're never going to be probably. Sorry. But I just, I like them because they are very lifetime Netflix thriller movie-esque. And so it's just like a fun time and I just enjoy it for what it is. So those are the ones that I'm reading. The only other thing that I have that I may pick up, which is romance, so look at me go, is Delilah Green Doesn't Care. Uh, I may just read this sporadically throughout the week. This is a sapphic romance where the main characters, well, there's two main characters, hello, it's romance. But one of the main characters, Delilah, her stepsister is getting married. And so Delilah is going to be the photographer for the wedding. And one of her stepsister's best friends is the other love interest. And it's just about them, like, kind of. They knew each other in childhood, so it's about them, like, reconnecting and maybe seeing each other differently uh, during this whole wedding ceremony thing. And let me tell you. This is talking about how there's like two weeks of activities to do. That sounds awful. That sounds incredibly stressful. That sounds like the last thing that I would ever want to do. Ever. Weddings do not sound fun to me at all. <laughs> like this book is not selling me on it. But the romance is cute. And I like it. I like the writing style. It's flying by real quick. So those are the books for this week. Let us see where we'll go. You know I'm still reading A Flicker in the Dark though and it's taken forever, but I'm reading on my Kindle so that's why why and I only read it at night because ooky spooky strange. Without further ado, I'm probably gonna go sit down with an audiobook, play my little word puzzle games because I was, I didn't get home uh, last night until 8 p.m. I think. So, you know, I was tired. I didn't really have a whole lot of time to unwind. So when I got home, I just like threw my phone into my side table and then watched The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. As you do when you need to decompress. 
naturally. So, there we go. That is what I did. Yes. Where am I at now? Oh, I'm leaving you. Okay. Good day. <laughs>forget everything I said previously, this is turning into a Veronica and Stoker vlog. So it's technically a romance vlog, but just for them. Because I'm starting the fourth book. I just finished this one, we'll talk about it tomorrow, but I'm starting the fourth book and I just... <laughs> Katie has hyped it up so much. This is a romance vlog and a Katie vlog. I dedicate this romance vlog to Katie. This. What did I just say? <laughs> I gotta go to bed now. Hello. So I just got home from work and it is 5.23. I stopped by my mom's to pick up uh, two packages. So I'll show you guys that probably tomorrow when I feel like doing that. And we will talk about the other book that I finished yesterday tomorrow as well. But I wanted to say that I think I might actually break for today and some of tomorrow. Maybe I'll do it Friday. I don't know. I want to do a 24 hour read on, but reading like all of the romance books that I have found on TikTok. So I think that I'm actually going to do that. And I'm about to hop on to Patreon and do some reading sprints over there uh, because I don't have work tomorrow now and I could just do whatever I want. I can live my life. Imagine that. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm very excited to do it. And uh, yeah, I think that's, that's it. I think I've covered everything. How are you doing? Leave a comment down below with the snowflake emoji because uh, it's supposed to snow tonight. Love not having work, genuinely, I really do. But I'm gonna go change into some comfy pants and uh, get started on that. So, you'll see that video soon. Hopefully, hopefully. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Hello, so I am on sprints now. We have about four minutes left of this first sprint and I'm gonna try to finish a flicker in the dark. I have 45-ish minutes left of this book, but I think that I'll definitely finish it on sprints tonight and then I'm gonna start in on one of the book club picks. Um, I'm actually going to delay the whole 24-hour readathon until probably 
tomorrow or maybe Friday. I think Friday would be a good day to have a 24 hour readathon, like wake up really early on Friday, have it end Saturday morning, that kind of gig. So a flicker in the dark. I've talked about this. I think I even mentioned it earlier in the vlog. This book was really good until I got to the twist and now I'm like really hoping that the twist is not what it seems to be right now because it's just not that good. Um, I guessed it and I like never try to guess twists ever because I really like being surprised. I don't like guessing them like that's not why I read thrillers. Um, drives my mom and my partner crazy because I, you know, <laughs> live with and have people in my life that absolutely like live to guess the plot twist before it's revealed. It's just not me. I don't do all that. But I've lit my favorite candle. The horror scent. So good. And then I'm reading this. And I think I'm going to try some of the Wall of Winnipeg. But I also just sent this to my mom because I got it recommended on Instagram because I asked for like creepy thriller for wintertime stuff because it's going to snow. And I got the overnight guest recommended so many times and Gabby recommended it who is someone I really trust for that kind of thing so I may look and see where I can grab that whether it's audible or scribbed well those are the only two I can listen to on my computer which is how I like to listen because you can listen at three times speed which is perfect for listening and doing word searches but yeah that's gonna be my night and I will update you guys when I finish the flicker in the dark and then with what I'm going to be picking up next Okay, so my face looks like this because I just finished washing my face and putting on moisturizer and all that. But um, just wanted to update regarding this book. I'm on chapter 45-ish, I think? Maybe more. I'm not really sure. The chapters on Audible don't line up with this, but the main character is really annoying now. Like, I'm really... The choices she's making specifically regarding the news report, like, what? What? Not only is this predictable as hell, but like, stupid as hell. She is so, mm. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna get back to this is my margarita, because I need it. Hi, I'm checking in again to eat my freaking words. <laughs> oh my god. So I was talking, like, I was fully ready to get on here and be like, this is a bad book. It is so boring. Um, if you're new to the genre, you would really, really like it, but never mind. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. This, first of all, Tell me why I was crying. I legitimately was tearing up on stream listening to the last few chapters of this. Like, <laughs> dad stuff just gets me, man. It does every, every time. If you're watching this, dad, hey, love you. Um, oh my God, this book is so good. You need to go read this. Like, this was, I really liked this and Katie, if you're watching this, don't read this because <laughs> I don't think you'll like it. But everyone else, you should go onward and read this because, oh my goodness, gracious, this was great. Um, there's 12 minutes left of the sprint, so I'm going to watch just a little bit of like a YouTube video. Probably I'll start working on my watch later list because I got a lot there. And then I think... I'm gonna put up a poll on the stream and see if I should start The Overnight Guest or The Wall of Winnipeg. Um, I may just do like one in going between the two, but it's just atmos- like, I don't know. Maybe I'll read The Wall of Winnipeg tonight just to, you know, have the good, the good vibes. And then I may do The Overnight Guest like maybe before bed to get a little creepy. Um, and then tomorrow, like, during the daytime, because it's going to be actually snowing and I can see the snow and stuff. But, yeah, um, that's, that's what I've, I've finished that book. And here is this bean. Isn't she the cutest thing you ever did seen? 
I know. I agree. She made a very uh, upfront appearance on the sprints, which was hilarious. But uh, yeah, so I finished this and I finished A Treacherous Curse. And I'm thinking, like, let's just keep finishing books, you know, because <laughs> I'm having quite the week. Hello. So, just got off sprints. I'm going to charge all my electronics while I go take a shower. But it is 8.33 now. I think it's time to wind down. I did start the overnight guest. And I did this on audiobook, but it has a dual timeline. So I need to read it physically because it doesn't have a narrator shift to represent the dual timeline. It's told like, you know, it's a change in the timeline because of the years that are presented. And I will not remember that if it's just verbally said at the very beginning, I will not remember <laughs> that we're in a different timeline. So that's what I'm doing for that. And then I might read just a little bit of the romance that I wanted to read, but that'll be a separate vlog. So, yes. That is it. That is all. I will speak to you in the morning. Hopefully, it's going to be snowing. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together 
Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you make them Hello. So, what's up? Vlog. Haven't seen you in a minute. Um, I am pausing the 24 hour readathon that I was doing for horror books and thrillers and stuff because I finished Tender as a Flesh for it and I am in a bad mood now. <laughs> like, it has just put me in a bad mood. And I'll discuss it later. Siri, no. I'll discuss it later in that vlog when it goes up. Whenever that'll be. But I have started this one and I think I'm gonna keep this I, and it's a thriller but I might keep it on deck for that vlog or maybe if I feel like reading thrillers again I'll read it but right now I'm in like a mood for something completely different something not thriller or horror because I'm just like not in the zone for that so I think I'm gonna try out these two fantasy books that I have right here and we'll see how that goes but yeah I'm gonna do another 24 hour readathon, but I'm gonna keep it just like at a level vibe. You know, like we're just chilling, we're just reading, we're just living, laughing, loving. We're not doing whatever I just read because that was quite honestly not a good time. Yeah, that's all I got for you, but uh, I'll probably pick this back up again Saturday with whatever the heck I'm reading at that point because, uh, you know, this just isn't it. <laughs> it's. I need, you know what I need? I need Veronica and Stoker. That's what I need after that book. I need to like feel joy again. So that's probably what I'm going to do. So you'll see that um, in that vlog. That vlog will be coming really soon anyways. Okay, hi. So it is now 5.41 p.m. and I am off sprints. I just recorded an intro for a vlog that I need to film on Sunday, so hopefully I will get motivated to do that. Jake, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> He's like just being questionable. Um, but I wanted to update Patreons picked what I was going to read next. It's Kingdom of the Cursed, so we're going to see where this goes. We're going to see how we feel. But in other news, um, aside from the fact that I will be starting this, this is the Fairy Loot Edition, if you're interested. I don't know if it's still in stock, but I know people ask when I hold up random editions, so I remember this time. Um, but I did finish editing my February TBR, so I'll be up on Sunday, so it's up now. Check it out if you haven't. Say hello. Hey. Um, if you come from this video to that video, you should leave a purple heart so that I know. Unless you already watched it, then thank you so much. You're already ahead of the freaking game. But I also started this one. I think it's a dangerous collaboration. Is that the one? It's the fourth book in the Veronica Speedwell series. It's the one that Katie's like losing her ever loving mind over. And honestly, I don't know how I feel so far. So this series is Veronica and Stoker. That's really all it is. But it's like our OTP. I say R because we're creating a small cult. Would you like to join? You can join. It's in the reading sprints. So you'll just, yeah, yeah. That's our meetings. Those are the cult meetings for Veronica Speedwell. And we just freak out in general, but specifically over them. And so far, we are having a lot of Stoker's brother involved, which I think is funny in the first couple books. But now I'm like, I don't like your vibes, kind of, sir. I don't enjoy them. I don't indubly do. So I kind of want him to like get next. But there's a scene like I thought we were going to literally have to just have Veronica and Stoker's older brother like for parts of the book. Just them for like a whole section. And then Stoker's like, <laughs> you thought. And honestly, I love this man. I do. So I'm going to organize all of these clips that I now have for all the vlogs I'm doing. Because why am I doing multiple? Because 
why would I be organized? Who knows? Um, couldn't fathom it. And then I'm gonna take my makeup off, do my skincare, take a shower, and then start reading some of this and decide if I want to keep going with this physically or if I want to do some audio booking. It re I, I, who knows? Who friggin' knows? I mean, honestly, I might end up doing the reading vlog that I keep referencing for next Sunday's video. But, uh, any hooters, let me go get my life together, okay? Okay, hello, I have no glasses on, which I know is just weird. Don't pay attention to it, okay, God. I'm reading A Dangerous Collaboration. I'm 35% into it. I just got done watching some of Jordaline's sprints. I'll link her down below. And then now I'm watching some of Bari from Book Loctician. I can't see a diddly darn thing. One second. Yep, yeah, Locked Booktician. Bree. Um, did some sprints with Kayla. A long time ago I don't even know when these happened to be honest I just looked up reading sprints and I was like I like both these people let's watch so I am as I read a dangerous collaboration I'm listening to it of course while playing my games and let me tell you right freaking now got some important news I've made a coffee at nine o'clock at night don't even ask me about it but um hello I'm winning the freaking Brilliance Tournament, and what do you think about it? I'm not winning it yet, but I'm number two. And I only got 100 points away from Cat, and I'm taking that spot. And I'm going to keep playing all day tomorrow so that I can win this tournament because I've never won one before. And I'm going to win it. I'm doing it. I don't even care about the money. Honestly, at this point, it's about my pride. So I'm just going to keep listening to this book and doing this this is all I do at this point and you know what I'm having a great time I could scream about this book I don't even think I'm probably at the part that Katie was telling me I'm gonna like lose my at but I'm already losing my and I didn't have a whole lot of to have to keep together at the first place but here we are <laughs> losing what I did have um man we only have one point of view but I know if I had Stoker's point of view, I'd be, I, I would just be like, you know what I mean? Like I'd be deceased. So basically Veronica is just like having these moments of like, <sighs> okay, here's the trope I love. Whenever you think there's going to be that confession, there's going to be the, the thing that's going to happen. And then someone interrupts. But what's better is after the interruption has happened after time has passed and in here first of all Deanna Rayborn hello big fan big fan of your work Andrew Stoker but I love how she wrote the time passing in here like it put enough time in between that it was like believable that Veronica had had time to really dwell on her thoughts and her feelings towards Stoker and like come to the conclusion that she was gonna say it and despite being interrupted she was gonna try and say it again whatever and then and then she gets interrupted again and it's by him. He's like, you know what? I've come to the conclusion that you're right. We should be friends and it's good that we're friends. We don't have to taint this relationship and friendship we have with other feelings. And I'm like, and she was about to say, I love you. <sighs> I'm just having such a good time. <laughs> like I'm literally tearing up. <laughs> I just love it so much like this oh man and it adds to the pining but you know you know if you were in Stoker's head like he would have been about to say it or thinking like this is what she wants but it's not what I want and you're just like it's not what she wants either anyways coffee after 9 p.m turns me into an animal so I'm going to now that I finished it I did finish it I'm gonna drink my water get those electrolytes back up Jake is having a little bit of a moment um so hope that gets worked out for him because I'm busy I I simply can't right now I can't be a parent I have to um be a fan there's a piece of hair I'm I have to go I have to go I can't talk to you anymore
Hello vlog people. Um, it is Sunday, February 6th at 3.56 p.m. I've been filming a 24 hour reading vlog all day. I took Saturday and just didn't really like read a whole lot of anything, but I did start a new book. Um, I started on my Kindle as like my going to bed book because I really like to have like an audiobook in the car and then physical books if I'm doing like reading sprints, which I've been doing a lot of this week, mainly because I didn't have to go into work as much, but also because they're just really fun. So hopefully I'll keep doing those. Um, but I am reading, physically I'm reading, oh lord, what is it? Oh, for the 24 hour readathon. So that is a whole other thing. Never mind. Scratch that. That'll be coming on, I think, Sunday. But bippity boo backwards um a kindle book is what i have that's what i read before i go to bed because the kindle like i don't have any distractions on it it doesn't have me keep lights on in the room and it has like warm backlight so it's just good for my eyes and it makes me honestly it makes me sleepy so i like to read on my kindle before bed and the one that i decided to pick up was a book of the month pick which is the maid and this one ow what the heck See, I've been packing a lot. You can literally see, like, all these friggin' boxes. They're all books. Everything that is in here are books. Um, yeah. Having a great time. But, um, something is, I think I scratched my arm. It's the whole reason I even showed you that while I was packing. Any freaking ways. Uh, this book is about a girl. I think it's kind of like a cozy mystery. It feels like a cozy mystery or just maybe like a mystery in general. It doesn't feel like a thriller right now, but she is named Molly, Molly the maid, and she works at this really nice this bed and breakfast hotel kind of thing. I'm assuming by the way that uh, she speaks in Europe specifically, I think in like uh, it sounds like England to me, but I don't know, don't, don't quote me on that. But uh, she works at this hotel and she's, you know, living her life and she's going through a rough patch because the person that she, you know, like confided in, loved the most, who's always there for her, her grandma has passed away recently. And so she's kind of dealing with that, but also... I don't know, I kind of like it. it's, it's, she's dealing with it in a way that's not quote unquote like typical, like normal for people to deal with. And I like how her inner monologue is going through this grieving process, whether she registers it as a grieving process or not. I think it's nice to see other ones instead of, you know, people telling you how you're supposed to be grieving or whatever. Because, <laughs> hi, if you didn't know, that's a thing people do. A lot. It's really weird. I've never understood and I still don't understand when I get told it still. It's like, maybe that's good, like, for you. But, like, me and Molly, we're kind of like this on this whole process. And she is cleaning up, you know, spiffy spiffy, making it look real nice. And she finds a man dead in his bed. What a dread to find a man dead. And so now... I think the plot's gonna kick off. We're gonna have a little bit of a mystery as to what happened. He doesn't seem like the nice guy. He's got like a super young wife. And so, you know, now it's like, well, <laughs> what is she doing? And yeah, that's where I'm at. But I'm gonna end out this vlog because it's getting towards the evening. And I know that I'm gonna be finishing up the 24 hour readathon tonight and then into tomorrow. So I probably won't be updating for any books that I've been reading this week with you guys. But going into next week, I will be reading, is it a dangerous collaboration? A dangerous collaboration and The Maid. So it's going to be a great weeding, weeding week. A great weeding week. <laughs> All right. The emoji of today is going to be a red heart to match the cover of the maid and I think I said something else about emoji earlier in the video so that one too and then no yeah we'll just go with the red heart I think a red heart's good I think that's all we need I think that's just like the one you know uh thank you once again so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video definitely make sure that you check them out in the 
description down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. I will catch you in the comments down below. And on my next video. Bye. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright